What's going on guys? I wanted to take some time in this video to do a little bit more of a deeper dive into the equipment definitions within Johnson Controls Medicis MUI. Uh, this comes about after some conversations with some folks, so I wanted to make a video because I know that this question has probably come up amongst a lot of people. In order to understand Medicis MUI, you really have got to understand the equipment equipment definitions and equipment objects. Those are the key to understanding everything about, about MUI. The particular question came up on when you have a couple of different types of VAVs, whether you need to create a separate equipment definition and equipment objects because of those VAVs in particular. Uh, now, to get into the details on this, the difference in the VAVs are those that are have a reheat, like what you see on screen here, and those that do not, basically a cooling on bo only box, like what you see on the screen here. And there is a little bit of difference in them, but nowhere near as much as what you may think, specifically when it comes to building the equipment definitions. Now let's just go ahead and look at the equipment summary. You're going to see here on the equipment summary for this building, I have the VAV selected and we have some data that does not display in some of these units. You can see here as I scroll up and down, uh, this column in particular is the heating output column for this particular floor. Okay, we have various devices here. Uh, some are cooling only, and some are those that have a reheat. And you can see that they are tied to the exact same equipment definition. Now, whenever you're looking at MUI and looking at the equipment summary, the drop down that you see here is going to be the name of the equipment definition that all of this equipment is associated with. Okay, so that's something else for you to remember. And you can see that all of this equipment are linked to the same equipment definition. And we're going to look into SCT and show you how this works. So let's jump over to SCT. I've got it up here. Now, for those of you all who do not know, uh, your equipment definitions must be contained in the equipment definitions folder located on the server. That is the only place that you're going to be able to build your equipment definitions or should be. And, you know, you want to add folders and keep everything as organized as possible. I cannot stress this enough. I, you know, I tell people all the time, the main thing that you have got to do is to maintain the integrity of your database. Keep it clean and it will function much better. So what we're going to do here is we're going to drop down the equipment definition folder containing the one that we're looking at on screen. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. When you go in here, I'm just going to double click the equipment definition first and show you the summary of all of the points. You can see here what I want to do when I set one of these up. I want to set it up to include everything that could potentially be in one of those VAVs. So I'm going to base that on a VAV that has, I guess you could say, the majority points. For example, this one is based on a VAV that does have the heating output. And really, there's only a few differences between the two types of VAVs that we have in the system for this building. And that is basically those that are cooling only and those that are not. But I want to add that point when I build my equipment definition. And again, guys, I have got other videos on equipment definitions. Go back and check those out because you really have got to understand those when you are working with MUI. Something else you need to be aware of as well. When you are setting these up, and this is something that I did not do in this one because it's for the same building, and I know at some point I'll need to go back and uh, make some changes. 
This is basically search criteria when you are looking for the particular points within your system. If you have this instance ID filled in, basically it's going to default to that instance ID. And if you ever get into a situation where you're seeing points that are mismatched as far as the location where like, for example, you have an analog output or an analog input displaying where a, an occupancy command is or something like that. And it is going to be because of this right here. If you've got multiple VAV types, uh, different generations and things like that, this is why it's going to uh, fail and default to that instance ID. And that instance ID may be different for different manufacturers, different types of VAVs and so on. And yes, you can use different manufacturers different VAVs and everything else and pull them into the same equipment definition. Now what I want to do is I want to go into the discovery mode. Again, go, go back and check out some of the other videos that I've done on equipment definitions. Uh, I'm going to go into the discovery mode. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click on this particular equipment definition and I'm going to select open in discovery. And once I do that, what it is going to do it is going to pop up and show me all of the equipment that is associated with that particular equipment definition. Okay, you can see here, this is where I would go in and add. If I needed to add a VAV or anything like that, that this is exactly where I would do it. Also, I can customize the naming and you need to make sure that you do that correctly when it comes to naming of equipment. The name that you put here is going to be what the name of the equipment object turns into. Okay, especially if you're using a system where you're trying to build multiple equipment objects from a single piece of equipment. For example, if you have a hot water system and chilled water system that are both controlled by a single controller, I still recommend that you build two separate equipment objects and have one for the hot water system and one for the chill water system and that plays in making your overall system function better, especially if you're going to get into some of the fault triage and that sort of thing when it comes to some of the automation that is within Metasys MUI. You have all of your points here that are pulled in once uh, you've seen that other screen and then we have all of these points here that are blank. You see you have some VAVs here that will have the zone quality and a lot that do not. Okay, you can see that here just scrolling down. And you also see other points as well as far as discharge air temperature. You can see that we do have some that have that sensor and some that do not. Uh, we can also see as well when we scroll on over the heating output. And again, you see that some have the points and some do not. And that is simply because those points do not exist within these specific devices. And the way that your graphics do... And this is where that question had come up. The way Metasys MUI is set up, particularly when it comes to the graphics, it is going to try to interpret what it thinks that you want. For example, what we're going to do is we're going to dive right into one of the graphics. We're going to look at one. I'm just going to grab one real quick just to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to open up the Features Manager, and this is where you're going to find your graphics. I'm going to go into Graphics Manager here. And it's going to highlight the uh, graphic that is associated with that. You can see that it shows that it is aliased. And what does that mean? It means that the graphic was built not on a particular piece of equipment. It was built on the equipment definition. And this is another point to make as well. If you have a lot of equipment that is similar, such as VAVs, Build your equipment graphic on the equipment definition. That way you build it once and it will alias those points for you. I'm going to go to my drop down here and I'm going to select equipment definitions from the drop down. It's going to give me a list of all of the equipment objects or equipment definitions, I should say, that is within my system. So when I drill down to the particular equipment definition for those VAVs, because it will not let you edit those, 
it will not even let you enter edit mode if it is showing up a list if you do not go into the equipment definitions option so let me drill down here if i can learn my abds and go back to school again and find the exact one that i need and right here it is grh vav this is the equipment definition Okay, this is the one that all of those VAVs are attached to. And I want you to take a quick look at this graphic as far as how it looks out of the box. This is what you're going to see when you basically go into your editing mode. You're going to see that it shows fans. It shows all kinds of crazy stuff. And what Metasys MUI does, based upon the state texts and things like that within your system, and this is where consistency comes in, it tries to interpret all of those points for you. So when you build a graphic on an equipment definition, it is going to give you basically what it thinks you want. And it's going to try to minimize the time that you would have to spend building graphics. Again, here is the graphic that is tied to those particular VAVs. You'll notice on the display screen earlier when we were looking at those, we did not have fans. We did not have all of this other stuff over here. We just had the straight bare bones device. And that is because since those points do not exist when the graphic is displayed on your screen, it simply does not display what does not exist. Okay, that's how the graphics are set up within Metasys MUI. So let's go ahead, jump back out of this, and go right back into our screen. Okay, I'm going to go right back here and pull up the equipment definition when we go back in. And I'll just a quick note here. We have two different types of equipment definitions that are on the same floor. Again, guys, if you do have completely different equipment, then that's something that you may want to do. This little display window here under the equipment summary is going to give you the option to select which one you want to look at. So I will expand that up again, and you will see uh, once again that we have a bunch of equipment that is different, and we do not have all of those points displayed here. So if you ever get into a situation to where you're building your equipment definitions, your equipment objects and all that, and you have similar equipment, don't worry about trying to set up a completely different equipment definition for that particular equipment. It is not necessary. You can simply set it up like you normally would, and then within your graphic, uh, what does not exist will then simply not populate within your system. Anyways, guys, I hope this is a little bit of a help to you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down below. And guys, I would really appreciate it if you would take the URL for this video and post it to all of your social media. Share these videos. It really helps to support the channel. You know, just I try to put these out just to help folks out there that are working in this industry. But guys, hope you like the video. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. Be sure to check out all of the links down below. Those are affiliate links. So anything that you purchase through there will help go to support what we do here. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Leave me any questions down below. Subscribe and we will see you next time.